Hi, this is Andy with North Shore Apartments. We're about to enter 803 Simpson number three. As we walk in, you can see the living room. To the left, we have an entry closet and the bedroom. Again, the living room and to the right, the bathroom. We'll come back to take a more complete look at the bath and the bedroom. But for now, we're gonna walk into the living room. And as we walk in from the entry, we can pan around and you see the living room is extended by a sunroom. It's actually a nice big room. The windows are facing south in front of us to the west, to the uh, right, and to the east to the left. As I walk in about midway, to the left is the kitchen, which we'll visit next. But first, I'm going to pan the living room one more time. You can see it's a big room with a lot of light. You're on the third floor, so nobody's above you. And then that's the bathroom door, and there's the front door and the entry. As I walk in, I'll walk into the sunroom a little bit and show you what you see from the from the windows, that is the intersection of Simpson and Sherman that's facing east. And again, I'm just going to show you the windows because the windows are newer. A couple years ago, they're low E windows, which means they have argon gas between the panes. And argon is 300 times as dense as air, so it baffles both the weather, but it also baffles sound. And there's Simpson. And then this small window facing the west, which is basically just Simpson and uh, another part of this building. So from the corner of the sunroom, if we pan the living room again, we see into the kitchen, the rest of the living room, and the sunroom, which is actually a nice big room. So I'm going to walk towards the kitchen. Turn around real quick towards the front door and just give you a quick pan of the sunroom, which again is a nice big room. We'll go past his workstation or her workstation and go into the kitchen. The kitchen is bigger than most older kitchens. It's got a lot of cabinets up on top, two stainless steel sinks, cabinets underneath, full size stove, the back door. That door is a pantry, but before we get to the pantry, we have a butler's pantry. You can put things on top, shelving in the middle, drawers on the bottom. And I'll just open a drawer real quick for you so you can see what that is. If I step back from the butler's pantry, the microwave is actually the tenant's. So I step back from the pantry, you can see where the fridge is, would have been like a dining area. You can use it for storage now. The fridge is a full-size fridge, I'm gonna open it. Ooh, it's chock, this gal cooks. Freezer is full, fridge is also full, and you have some uh, shelves on the side and crisper drawers underneath. If I walk over to the cabinets, I'll show you the sink and the counter. Not huge counter space, but with this extra area over here and the butler's pantry, there's actually room for quite a bit of counter space, even a small table. Show you the sinks. Now, obviously this all needs to be cleaned, but we will do that. This building is owned by a single family. So it's actually in many ways, it's much better they take quite a bit of pride. They've been in Evanston for quite a while. The cabinets are newer. You can see they're dry, clean, very usable. If I go below, the, where the trouble usually is, is under the sink. Man, you can't really see it under here, but there's no water damage at all. And you, I guess the best way to see is that the paper is dry. But it's a very usable space, nice and clean. There's some storage on the sides. 
and some drawers. Well, I'm not very good at taking videos. Drawers on either side of the sink. There you go. I'm going to show you the stove. I'm just going to close these cabinets. Whoops, a daisy. The stove also needs to be cleaned. If we can't clean it, we would, of course, replace it. But I think we can clean this. Full-size stove. So if you wanted to have Thanksgiving, you could. This gal, clearly, she does cook. So we'll have to clean the stove for you as well. The pantry, which we haven't seen, is also a big closet. So with a closet with a view, we charge extra for that. Lots of shelves. You can see by the floor space that it's a big space. This would be considered a big closet, except that it's in the kitchen. So it's considered a big pantry. If we go out the, the back door, what we have are stairs. And can I get this open? And I can't get it open, so I'm wondering what is going on. Well, I'll show you out the window. Those are stairs which would take you down to the bottom of the building. In the basement, there is storage. The laundry is a little bit to the uh, left of the base of the stairs. Two washers, two dryers, $1.50 to wash, $1.50 to dry. And again, I'm going to, from the back door, show you what the kitchen looks like into the living room, counter space, and stove. Hopefully this is coming. I feel like I might be a little herky-jerky in this video, and I apologize for that. I'm going to walk out of the kitchen. Again, the living room. And we go back towards the front door. She actually has the door hooked open. So that's probably to air it out, which is smart. It'll keep mildew from building up on the ceilings. And you can see the ceiling is squeaky clean. Part of that is because the new windows are so easy to use. Ceramic tile, bigger than average bath, remodeled a couple years ago. So a tank toilet, outlet, standard sink with a base, and the base again, dry and very user friendly. Into the uh, tub and shower, which you can see the tiles are very clean. Uh, it's always hard with direct light, but very clean tiles. Tub, tub needs to be clean, but that's easy to imagine because it's occupied. The shower is about six, three or six, four. So unless you're quite tall, it's quite high enough. And again, we have the good windows. Uh, too much light coming in, but they're really good windows. So that's very helpful, actually. There is a radiator in the bath, which will keep it nice and warm. Again, the sink, the toilet and sink. We have a small medicine cabinet. I'm just going to open up the uh, shelves. And as we pan across, you can see it's very usable. Not huge. There I am. I'll wave. And we'll go out towards the bedroom. Past the front door into the bedroom. We have an intercom to our left so we can open the door downstairs. It works, although I think most people just text these days. This is a little harder to show because it's darker, but you can see two shelves at top. I, I hope you can see two bars that are for hanging clothes. It's quite a big closet, really. She's got her winter gear up front and then some storage underneath for boots and shoes. As we go into the bedroom, this looks like a full-size bed. So we start, there's a mirror, lamp. That's a full-size bed. Window facing west so you get good light, radiator. The air conditioner is hers. 
an air conditioner that size would be plenty for this building, for this apartment rather. Big furniture, a little uh, hamper, and then behind the hamper is a closet. And the closet is probably four feet across. So let's see if I can get that for you. Four feet across with two shelves, one hanging rod horizontally, but there is a little vertical pressure bar for hanging as well for ties, scarves. And then we go down, you can see she has a catch-all and some space for shoes, etc. And as I go back up from the closet, we look down the dresser, which is actually a big piece of furniture, to the window. And there's no nightstand, but there could be. And a lamp. And look at that. There I am again. I also want to point out that the electric panel is in your apartment. That's great. If you ever trip a circuit, um, you don't have to go downstairs. The electric was redone in this building about four or five years ago. So it's really nice. So actually, I think it's a really nice apartment. You've got a much cleaner bath than most of the units near campus. The living room, I feel like, is a very pretty room with the sunroom and tremendous light. You're on the third floor, so nobody's above you. Very private. The kitchen is big enough to easily have people over while you're cooking. Sorry about not being able to show you the back stairs. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm not going to figure out while I'm taping. So... That's really it. The rent is $12.50 and that includes heat and water. The only other thing to know is that this would be a security deposit rather than a move-in fee. I'm headed back toward the door. Uh, thank you.